Hello Cubbies, welcome to another Awana video. Hey, are you ready to learn a new verse? Before we do that, I need to give you a quick reminder, all right? Moms and dads, if you're listening, I wanted to remind you that there will be no Awana store the Sunday after this video comes out. So, November 22nd, no Awana store. Also, there will not be a new video released next week on November 27th, all right? Because uh, we are taking a week off for Thanksgiving, just like we would normally if we were meeting in person for Awana, all right? But don't worry because the Awana store will be back November 29th. And in addition to that, videos will be coming up right after that, all right? So just wanted to make you aware of that. Now, Cubbies, are you ready to learn a new verse? Now, this is not a regular verse in your bear hug uh, series, right? We're going to skip the bear hugs for this time. And we're going to go to the back of your cubby book, and we're going to go to special day number one. Special day number one is about Thanksgiving, okay? So let's learn the verse that's connected to that in your cubby book, all right? Psalm 100, can you count to 100? Psalm 104. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Now, don't forget, boys and girls, you don't have to learn this entire verse. You just have to learn the part that's bold in your book, or in our case, the part of the verse that's underlined. All right, so let's do just that part one more time. Psalm 104. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Very good, boys and girls. All right, now, I have a question for you. What does this word thanksgiving mean? Well, let's ask it this way. If somebody were to hand you a cookie, oh, what's your favorite kind of cookie? Me personally, I like snickerdoodle cookies and I also like sugar cookies, all right? But you, what do you like? Do you like chocolate chip, all right? Do you like the ones that have like the M&Ms inside of them? Oh, those are good too. Do you just like Oreos? Mrs. Amanda really likes Oreos. Actually, she really likes any kind of cookie. She loves chocolate chip, right? What's your favorite kind of cookie? Imagine that somebody walked up to you and they gave you your favorite cookie. What would you say to them? What are you supposed to say to somebody when they give you something special like your favorite cookie? It's two words. One starts with a T and one starts with a Y. Those two words, I'm going to write them very big right here. Are you ready? It's thank you. Thank you. That's what you say when somebody hands you your favorite cookie or they do anything that's nice for you. You say thank you. Well, the word thanksgiving means that you're giving thanks. It means you're giving thank yous to people. So when this verse talks about that we're supposed to enter into God's gates with thanksgiving, it means that we're supposed to say thank you to God. Now, boys and girls, why do we say thank you to God? All right? Tell me why. Why do you think? Hmm. Yeah. Let me tell you why we say thank you to God. The reason we say thank you to God is that he does so many good things for us because he loves us. Man, God gives us all sorts of things. He gives us all the different animals that live in the world. He gives us all the different foods that we have to eat. He gives us all the family and friends that we love. And most importantly, he gave us Jesus. And we get to be with God and get to talk to God forever because of Jesus and how much he loves us. So here's what I want to do today, all right? Just for a few more seconds. I want us together to say thank you to God for three things, all right? Now, I'm not going to choose anything super specific, but I, I, I did want to pick some of the three things that I love the most that I thought you would too, things that I like to say thank you to God for. You know what? Sometimes when I'm eating something really tasty, I can't help but say, oh, God, thank you for what you've given us. And one of the best examples of that is when I get to eat chicken nuggets and french fries. 
Oh yeah, do you like chicken nuggets and french fries? Let's do it together, all right? Let's thank God together today for chicken nuggets and french fries. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna count to three, and then after I say three together, we're gonna say, thank you God for chicken nuggets and french fries. Sound pretty easy? All right, just a reminder, when I say three, you say with me, thank you God for chicken nuggets and french fries. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Thank you, God, for chicken nuggets and french fries. Ah, oh, isn't that great? God has given us chicken nuggets and french fries, and that is one of the greatest gifts he's given us, okay? Now, that's a kind of a silly one, but let's talk about a more serious one. What about our families? Man, we love our families. You have your mom and dad that you love, right? I have my own mom and dad who I love, and I'm thankful for them. Do you have any brothers and sisters that you love? I have my own sister that I love. I'm thankful for her. And then I have somebody I'm even more thankful for, and that's Mrs. Amanda. I'm super thankful for Mrs. Amanda, and I'm sure that you have lots of people in your life, like grandparents and friends and all sorts of people who you're thankful for as well. And we're very thankful for our families. So together, let's say thank you, God, for families on three. Are you ready? Thank you, God, for families. One, two, three. Thank you, God, for families. Ah, uh, excellent. Well done. And lastly, I want to say thank you to God for Jesus. Man, I love Jesus. I love talking to Jesus. I love spending time with Jesus. So I, I want to take a moment just to thank God for giving us Jesus. Because I get to spend forever with God because of Jesus. And it's great. I love it. So on three, let's say thank you, God, for Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Congratulations. You have entered into God's gates with thanksgiving. You have given him thanks for the things that he's given you for three different things just in the past few minutes. Here's what I want you to do after you finish watching the video. I want you, with the help of your mom and dad, to think of three more things that you can thank God for today. Maybe it's your pet, or uh, maybe it is uh, a really close friend, or maybe it's uh, the house that you live in, or the clothes you have. I don't know. what. It, maybe it's some of your toys. I don't know what your favorite things are or what you're most thankful for, but take a little time today to thank God for just three of the things that he's given you. And then if you want to, Sing your favorite song about God, just to spend some time really loving him and worshiping him, all right? So, have a great time doing that. Have a great Thanksgiving, all right? We won't see you at the Iwana store this week, all right? We're not going to see you in a video next week, but two weeks from now, we'll be back at the Iwana store and more videos will be posted. So, have a great one. Bye.